eBay Motors is here for the ride. With over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die, you can make sure your ride stays running smoothly. Brake kits, LED headlights, bumpers, whatever your baby needs, eBay Motors has it. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, it's guaranteed to fit your ride the first time, every time. Plus, at these prices, you're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Okay, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moss Boss Show. And in today's episode... Brace yourself for what I'm about to tell you guys because y'all y'all going to learn something today that I didn't know and now I got to look at all my Hispanic friends different um now because of this this one thing this one thing that most likely got discovered maybe 2 3 days ago by somebody you know like it was created by somebody but no hear me out hear me out if you know Spanish like if you know the like the Spanish language and things if you know Spanish, then you are a racist. <laughs> let that let that sink in a little bit. Just let that sink in a little bit because I seen it and I read it was like this whole thread on Instagram and the number one reason why they were saying that if you know Spanish, um then you're a racist. The number one reason is because the word um negro. And for those that don't know in the Spanish language, negro means black. So I, I don't I don't know like I don't know what to really say about that but I guess because of that reason alone that makes all Hispanic people or just people that speak Spanish uh, racist and if you guys like if y'all know me you know that like I'm friends with a lot of Hispanic people one of my closest friends of all time like she's number one on the list she is Hispanic. <laughs> So like, what do I what do I do now? Like, do I, I I'm gonna have to approach her and be like, hey, I can't be friends with you anymore because the language that you speak it's a it's a racist language. So I I you know I can't I can't be friends with you anymore. I wouldn't honestly I would not blame her. If she slapped me across the face and be like, you better snap out of it and go back home and hop on Call of Duty and you better team up with me and stuff like. I'm telling you, like, I, I wouldn't expect there anything, like, I wouldn't expect anything less. Like, no, you have the right, at that point, if I did approach her with that, like, type of behavior, I wouldn't, I would expect, I would expect her to slap me. But in, like, reality, if she did stop being friends with me and called me crazy, like, I, that would be okay, too. That would be cool, too, because I just, I, I don't know, I don't think I can live, you know, without Hispanic people. Like, you guys gotta understand, like, I love Hispanic people. It's Hispanic people, Samoan people, black people. I, I mean, I, I love like all races and stuff, but them like, those are like my, you know, my favorite races because it's always, it's always something like, you know, entertaining happening from them. Like even, and even with other races too, but like my top three, uh, Hispanic, um, Samoan and black. Cause you, it's it's always gonna be something crazy from them, but it, but it's gonna be like a crazy good. It's gonna be like I said, something entertaining and things. But anyways, um, yeah, I seen this post and I'm like, so what do you do when you get born like into a Hispanic family? Like you really ain't got no control over that. So my thing is, is that you have been given life into a Hispanic family. You are born now. It is whatever year, but you are born. But you look around and you realize you are smack dead in a Spanish-like base country or area of the world, whichever. I don't know. What do you do? Do you stop speaking Spanish? The one, the one and only language that you know. The one and only language. And it was funny because they wrote that post in English. So you would think that they would have written a post in Spanish so to the Spanish-speaking people, they would see that and be like, oh, well, you know, now I got to go out and learn a different language. But I'm like, it's stupid. Like, that's some dumb stuff. They can't help it that they speak Spanish. That's just their life. And it's not racist to speak Spanish. Like, to just clarify that right now, it is not racist at all. In fact, I actually tried to learn Spanish. I remember there was a point in time in my life where I was like, I'm going to go sit down, study. But I realized, I remember I was saying that um, where it was like, I think I was um, telling that to a coworker of mine. And he was saying that, uh, 
thought I was hearing something outside. But anyways, he was telling me that uh, like there are certain words in the Spanish language where it have like multiple meanings and differences and stuff. So I'm all like, dang, that's already the English language. So I'm like, I ain't got time for all that. You know, I, I'll try to I'll try my best. I'll try my best to, uh, you know, to understand what a Spanish speaking person is saying to me and things. But if not, I'm all like, yo, I'm going to need somebody to translate. But anyways, uh, dang, I'm getting like a lot of notifications right now. But uh, so, yeah, but I seen that post. It was a friend of mine that shared it. And I was like, I, I wrote to them and things just, you know, saying because but they wasn't like saying it themselves. Like they wasn't um, the one that made that post or they wasn't agreeing with that post. In fact, me and them, we both shared the same opinion that it was stupid. Like, like saying stuff like that. I'm like, please don't say that to nobody out in public. Obviously, whoever that person is, they are just saying that online because they know if they were to go out in public and say that. And it's like, then that's pretty much like every language because I'm pretty sure in the English language, there's probably a word that we say on the regular that has been a word that's been in the English language for centuries now that most likely it might mean something racist in a different language. So that's why I'm like, Unless somebody is looking me in my face and calling me the N-word or if you know whatever, then that's racism. But if there is a Spanish Spanish speaking person and they're pointing, they're all like, oh, I'm looking for this color shirt, but they don't know the word black. They just, they only know the word, like, uh, you know, the uh, Negro word. Like, they just only, like, oh, this is, I don't know why. I'm like, I feel like, I, cause I'm like, I'm, it's not that I'm uncomfortable with saying the word, but I'm just like, I don't know how uh, a podcast works. Like, I don't know if they would, like, you know, take my episode down because they, they might think that I'm saying some racist stuff. Like, so far, I've said, like, a, some crazy things on my podcast. I'm like, hoping that Anchor or anybody doesn't take my stuff down, but anyways um but yeah overall like yeah if there's like a spanish-speaking person they come up to me and then that's the word that they say i probably would laugh because i'm just like to me it's just it's like it's like when you say the word like duty or like poo poo or something you know like you laugh over that type of stuff so me like i laugh over it but i wouldn't expect like don't my thing is is like to a spanish uh speaking person if if that's the, like the word that you use to describe a color that's what you don't look at me and feel uncomfortable. That's what that's the language that you speak. I can't go. I can't be mad at you because you speak a language. That's like being mad at a person for the color of the skin or for their hairstyle that they have or for their eyesight or for their nose. Like it's something that they can't help. So that's why I'm like, I just don't I don't understand that. Somebody's going to have to explain that one to me because I'm like, yo, I've, um, throughout my whole life, I've had, like, a majority, the majority of my friend, um, base has always been, like, Hispanic people. I've, like, I'm telling you, I, like, I don't know why, but I've always loved Hispanic people. But that's, to just get, like, a little historic on you guys, to tell you guys a little bit about history. So, back in the slavery days, I'm pretty sure everybody knows about the slavery days. If not, you know, watch some movies, read some books, you know, watch some documentaries and stuff. But anyways, yeah, I'm pretty sure the majority of this world knows about slavery uh, with black people and stuff. So anyways, um, but quick summary. So there was uh, some highly, extremely downright racist white people that was in this world calling themselves slave owners. So what they would do, uh, kidnap a black person. Uh, sell them to like some, you know, slavery market thing. I don't know what to necessarily call it. But anyways, um, would sell them. So black people traveling mainly down south, but was traveling all across down south, just being slaves, all these different white people and stuff. And so if y'all didn't know, right next door to the down south is Mexico. And a lot of black people was um, escaping from these slave owners and uh, was overall like, you know, crossing the border to Mexico and was like, you know, hiding out there and camping out there and starting up a life there. So if there's probably ever a time where you see some uh, black people um, in uh, Mexico, probably, you know, has like something to do with their family legacy or something. It, it, it most likely would mean something. But anyways, so slave owners would cross over into Mexico because I think, you know, crossing into borders wasn't that strict uh back then now like compared to how it is now like you know you probably get like arrested or you know some things would go down if you crossing into the borders and stuff but anyways um so uh slave owners would go over into mexico and would confront like because they would see that you know black people would be working with like either they either would be working or hiding or whatever i don't know but 
they will go around and be like, hey, you know, I'm looking for this black person because I own them. They're my slave, blah, blah, blah. And Mexican people was like, not in this country they are. They ain't no slave here. They a black person. They are a regular person like us. And I don't know why I was like, when I seen that, that was something that really stuck out to me. That was something I'm like, I'm never going to forget that. Like, that's the part of history where it's like, they should be talking about that in class. They should be talking about that in school. Because I'm guaranteed if I would have learned that in school, I probably would have came to school with like all of my, <laughs> all of like my favorite snacks for my Hispanic friends. <laughs> I'm all like, what's your favorite snack? Okay, you like, you like hot Cheetos. You like Doritos, you like Fritos, you like Red Bull, beef jerky. Okay, say no more. I'm about to come up to school tomorrow, all of you guys. All of you guys are getting free snacks. This is for your guys' ancestors that was helping my ancestors out because y'all don't understand how happy I am right now. But I wish that was some like stuff that I learned in school. But you know, they were too busy teaching us about George Washington and why rocks belong on the moon and why the moon was... Uh, I don't know, just some old dumb stuff. The things like we're not going to carry on and stuff like outside of high school. Because I'm saying, do you think any of the things that we learn in high school, do you think that could be a conversation starter? Like you go like you, you out here trying to like flirt with somebody at like whichever place and things. Or uh, you on like some dating app and the conversation is pretty much dying. And be like, oh yeah, so what about those... Uh, what about those minerals? You know, and they're all like, what? What are you talking about, minerals? Like, what? What is, is this science? Like, am I, am I doing a test right now? What's, what's going on? What's, what's happening here? But anyways, um, but yeah, I was like, I remember reading about that and I was like, wow. So like Mexican people was with it. So I'm like, if there's any battles or wars that was going on, it was, that might've been one of the reasons and stuff. Like, I don't know. I didn't really, I read like, that was just like the quick, like, Thing that I read about it and stuff, but I was like, yo, that's dope. Like, I'm like, man, shout out to, uh, shout out to all those, like, uh, Mexican people that was doing that back then, but anyways, I'm like, so that should be a clear indication when you read that history, when you read that, that should be a clear indication that there's most likely not one Hispanic person walking the face. There might be some, you know, there might be a few bad apples and stuff. And so I, I, maybe I'm like, maybe I should correct myself when I'm saying that. So there's probably the majority of Hispanic people are not racist. There might be a few bad apples and all of that, but so far every Hispanic person that I've met have not been racist. Excuse me. Excuse me again. So, yeah, I'm like I will not. I'm like, man, I just get sick and tired of like when a somebody whoever they feel like that they got to speak on a certain race thinking that oh when a black person see this all of the Hispanic friends that they've ever made in life, they got to stop being friends with them because of this one post. Like I, And that kind of brings me back to when I had did uh, that reaction video to that Minnesota Boy video I did. So for those that don't know about that situation, so some years ago, uh, there is this YouTuber named Minnesota Boy. Good YouTuber. Very, very good YouTuber. And then one day he just decided that he was going to start being racist. But anyways, um, so he made this video saying why he hates white people and was calling them all these racist names and all of this. But he never gave like no actual legitimate facts on why black people should hate white people. And even then, if he would have, I have been like, OK, well, that's your experience with white people. I've my so my, me so far, I've experienced one racist encounterment with the white person. Other than that, every white person that I've met no, not to call me the N-word or any other racist derogatory names, because then there's going to be a situation. But for the most part, everybody has been cool with me. So that's why I'm like, I don't I don't really understand this, this video. Like, you're getting mad because some nine-year-old kids on Xbox or PlayStation or whichever you played on, you most likely might have been killing them way too many times in Call of Duty. They got mad, went to the good old reliable, calling you the N-word, and you decided, rather than recording them, making fun of them, okay, you decided that you was going to make a video talking about why you hate white people. And now that YouTuber, he's no longer on YouTube. He hasn't posted or uploaded a video. Uh, let me go and search up his channel. Uh, hold on for a second. Um, okay, here we go. So yeah, last time he uploaded was... No, nah, did he delete some videos? Because they're saying last time he uploaded was two years ago. 
Oh, it was a year ago. Okay, so yeah, he um he uploaded some weird videos. Uh, the he his uh, yeah, I just I don't understand that guy, but because he made videos talking about why he hates white people. Not too long after that, then he started making a video talking about why he hates black women and why he sleeps with white women. And I was like, that guy, something's wrong with him. So. Anyways, um, yeah, that's why I was like, you know, with just if you're a racist, you're a racist. But I'm not going to be racist. I'm not going to look at somebody and call them a racist because of the language that they speak or the color of their skin. That is on them. And I'm not saying that like to be like, you know, like, oh, you know, like that's on them. Like, you know, it's uh they they got they gotta live with that problem and things. It's not a problem if you speak Spanish. It's not a problem if you're white, it's not problem if you're hispanic or whichever if you're black i don't care it shouldn't to a to your average person and to anybody else in this world it should not matter what language a person speaks what the color of their skin are what race that they decide to hang out with that is that person everybody in this world is supposed to be different they're not supposed to be the same they're not supposed to look at a race and be like oh i can't associate with you with this that and blah 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 like it shouldn't matter it should not matter at all. And then, like, me and this friend, we were talking, like, more on the situation and things. And, um, yeah, we were just all like, you know, it should really just be about, like, the people that makes you happy. Like, overall, that's what we were talking about and stuff. Like, you know, like, associate with people that makes you happy. Like, don't associate with a person that's going to make you mad, this, that, and, you know, a bunch of other stuff. Associate with people that's going to make you happy. And at the end of the day, you ain't got nothing else to worry about. You're happy. You can sleep better at night. You got good friends around you. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, man, I'm telling you. I'm like, to all, shout out to all my Hispanic friends. If you want to teach me Spanish, I am open to the idea. You know, just let me know what I got to say. Let me know what I got to do. I am open to the idea. And if people want to call me racist for it, well, so be it. I don't care because I'm like, that's that's this is my life. I'm like, I don't see that. I feel like that's like one of the if I'm like going around like, you know, using it like to like discourage a person. I'm like, and that's mainly what uh, racism is, is to discourage other races, to discourage you speaking Spanish to another to another person that speaks Spanish. How is that racist? If you put two Spanish speaking people in the room, uh, how is that racist? What 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 are they doing in that room that's racist? Speaking of like if you say speaking a language, I'm like something's wrong with you. You got mental issues. But anyways, um, yeah, I just find that stupid. I'm like, please don't don't I don't want nobody to repeat that or try to find that post and be like, hey, I can agree with this. Like if you want to be a racist, you can go ahead and say that. But yeah, I um I just think that yeah, and to that person that did make that post, obviously they are racist. They don't like people that speak Spanish. So and then they're trying to like flip it and reverse it and stuff, do some Missy Elliott things and uh try to flip it back on them saying that they're the racist ones. I'm like, how? This is where they were born into, this is where they come from, this is what makes them feel comfortable. If they feel comfortable speaking Spanish, that's on them. That's not on you on what language they speak. They're not going to learn a whole new language because you then thought you discovered something. You discovered absolutely nothing. <laughs> like you, I'm telling you, man, people, they just need to stop. I'm like, you saying things like that. Just stop, please. Go somewhere, all right? But anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're viewing this on the podcast streaming service, make sure you follow or subscribe, however it's set up. Also, check out my uh, merch store. Got some merch uh, coming out soon. Uh, and also, there's a bunch of merch up already from hoodies, the sweats, phone cases, uh, what else? Um, face masks. There's a bunch of stuff up there, so go grab it, um, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and for listening, and peace.